So let's get started with the definition of probability. We start from axiomatic definition instead of the uh, empirical way. So uh, there are three axioms to define probability. And from these axioms, then uh, we know many, many rules. So this is the basic three things. If you remember nicely, then we're done. Okay. So um, for any event, uh, the probability of such an event must be between 0 and 1. Okay, That is, some normalization must be between 0 and 1. The second one is saying the sample space will be 1. Okay, So the maximum is 1, so we should expect everything must be 1. Uh, if we are the intuition, right, because this is a random experiment, if we run, the whole sample space must occur, so that means we know everything, right? So the first one is the normal, but normalization, okay? Everything's been saying one, and second one is say, okay, we know everything, so we must know it's one. The third one uh, is the way how we uh, how we combine things, right? An event is a collection of n mutually exclusive outcomes. So if it's A is O1, O2, O3, O N, and they're mutually exclusive, okay? Nothing, the intercept is empty, then the probability of A is just sum of all probability, okay? This is addition. So basically saying an event, if uh, it's a collection of outcome that are mutually exclusive, is not there, do not have intersection, that basically means uh, the probability is sum of the individual outcomes. So these looks uh, rather uh, intuitive, uh, it has a lot of implication. Okay, but before I go to implications, let's say example. So we have a wrong and die is one, two, three, four, five, six. Because die is fair, so each outcome is equally likely. Okay. And in that case, by the axioms, because they are mutually exclusive, uh they must be the same. Uh and um add them them up, then will be equal to one. So each of them is one over six. Okay, that is coming. This is coming from the fairness, so it must be uh, the same. And um, the axiom two, uh, sorry, the last axiom, axiom three, says uh, the event E is two and four and six, and two, four, six are mutually exclusive, so it's one of over six, two over six, three over six, so be three over six is one half. Okay. So that is how uh, you can define things okay, from the axioms. Uh, the next we come up with uh, some implication. There will be three uh, implications. The first one will be complement rule. Okay? The complement rule say how to calculate the probability by calculating complement. Okay? If A of the C is a complement of A, then probably A will be 1 minus the probability of the complement. Okay? So for example, so pro a row a die twice, okay? We want to ask what's probability of the face value less than 12, okay? Then you know some of the face values will be from 2 to uh, 12, right? But they are not equally likely, okay? So then you have to draw, you have to list everything out and then calculate the probability, right? But you can know the complement, it's much easier. Because complement less than 12, because it's 2 to 12, no less than 12 is just 12, right? So it's one of them. Only only when you have 6 and 6, then you have 12. Otherwise, you, you have must be less than 12, okay? So that's, that's why it's 1 minus the probability is 12, okay? Which is 1 over 36. So that's why the probability will be 35 over 36. The next one is addition rule, okay? Um, because... Uh, Intercept, right? Uh, will be you have uh, and uh, intercept A and B will be A plus B minus uh, uh, the uh, union of A and B. Okay, why we have that case? Uh, because the uh, uh, you can easily see that uh, uh, if you draw it diagram we don't have here but uh when you look at the when diagram okay if you have the union right basically it's just you take uh the a 
and the B and because you double count the intercept so that's why you have to take away the intercept so that's why you have the uh, the intercept or the union you reverse it right the intercept will be a plus b minus the union give you the intercept or reverse uh, the union will be the sum of them minus the uh, intercept so this is the addition rule okay see the example will be more clear so suppose you roll a die once so you have one two three four five six so what's the probability of having an even number and a number greater than three okay even numbers will be 2, 4, and 6, and greater than 3 will be 4, 5, 6. So um, event A and B right, will be even number greater than 6, which means that A intersect B is by 4 and 6. Okay, We want to calculate the union, right? even or. So that's why using the formula, we know probably A is 3 over 6, probably B will be 3 over 6 because uh, they're equally likely fair. So intercept we have two over six. So the union will be uh, probably a plus probably b minus probably a intercept b. So we four over six is two over three. Otherwise, you get a or b, right? You can directly see even or greater than three will be two, four, five, six. Then we have four out of six, so it's two over three. Okay. So last. Um, uh, implication will be the total probability rule, uh, which means if you have uh, a one of the a as partition, then uh, then the uh, then some of them be one. Okay, example with the following. Okay, suppose you roll the die twice. Okay, what's probability the sum of which is less than eleven? Okay, so a one will be the result is one, right? And the you can have a two up to a twelve is a partition because why the partition? Because only one up so some of them must be one number, right? So they cannot be have cannot be number two and number three at the same time. Okay, it's natural way to divide the sample space. And uh, based on our discussion, we know uh, a twelve is thirty six because six plus six is only way you get twelve, and eleven you only have. 5 plus 6 or 6 plus 5, only 2. So then probability that having sum is less than 11, okay? It's very simple. It's 1 minus this, right? Uh, is equal to this. Why? Because you add everything up to so be 1, right? So use the subtraction. Uh, you don't need to worry about uh, less than, right? So it's just uh, this guy. So um, so what we have is uh, adding them up is uh, 3 over 36. Okay, so uh, that's the end.